Unit 2 City Life Pre-reading questions If you live in a city, do you like it? Why? Why not? If you don't live in a city, would you like to? Why? Why not? What cities have you visited? List three cities you would like to visit. Say why. The man at the fountain. Philippe was standing by his cousin's newspaper stall when he noticed the thief. Philippe knew he was a thief because his picture was in the newspapers. In fact, his picture was in every one of the newspapers that his cousin was selling at this very moment. The square was bustling on this hot afternoon. Several stalls were selling cold drinks and snacks. People were sitting in the shade of the trees around the edge. Cooing pigeons strutted hopefully around the benches. Buses with dusty windows were cruising around the square. They wove their way through the never-ending flow of traffic. Now and again, one stopped under the trees. Its engine hummed noisily as the doors hissed open. Blue-gray fumes rose into the air. Their oily smell mixed with the scent of roses that drifted from the flower seller's stall. Waiting passengers pushed their way onto the bus while others left it and hurried away across the square. Nobody was taking any notice of the thief but Philippe did not stop watching him. He was difficult to recognize. He did not look exactly like his pictures because he was in disguise, but Philippe knew it was him. The police were looking for this man all over the city and now, here he was just a few meters from the newspaper stand. He was standing at the fountain in the middle of the square. He was almost hidden by a group of tourists with clicking cameras. They chatted and laughed as they took their photos. The square was famous for the fountain. Travelers to the city always took photos of the fountain with its beautiful statues and cascades of tinkling water. It was made from white marble that glistened like arctic ice. In the four comers were huge, leaping fish. Water spurted from their gaping mouths and splashed into the pool. In the center of the pool two powerful, galloping horses were pulling a magnificent chariot that was driven by a warrior of ancient times. The thief was mingling with the tourists who were throwing seeds to the pigeons and photographing the elegant buildings around the square. Philippe thought about getting closer. He took a few steps forward. Hey! Philippe heard his cousin's voice. Aren't we going to the match? I'll finish here soon. Philippe nodded and looked back at the man who was sliding a small camera from his pocket. He took several photos of the square. While Philippe was watching, he realized that one building particularly interested the thief. It had six white columns at the front. Broad steps led up to the massive, 
wooden doors and a blue and gold flag was flying above the vast entrance. It was certainly a beautiful building and a good one to photograph. It used to belong to a duke. Now, it was the city bank. Philippe froze zero Ned and stared harder at the man. Just then, the group of tourists hurried away towards their bus. Startled pigeons took off in a cloud of grey. The thief was suddenly alone. As if he felt Philippe's eyes on him, the man turned towards the fountain. An ice cream seller pushed his cart across the square and stopped in front of the fountain. Philippe could no longer see the man. When the ice cream seller moved on, the man was gone. Philippe frowned again. Perhaps he knew I was watching him, he thought. Just then, Philippe spotted a movement among the trees at the edge of the square. The thief was darting towards the main street that led away from the square. It was at that moment that Philippe decided to follow him. Choose the best words to complete the sentences. 1. Philippe's cousin was a newspaper, reporter, seller, reader. 2. The bus fumes mixed with the scent of oil, flowers, roses. 3. The thief was difficult to recognize, watch, notice. 4. The square was famous for the statues, the pool, the fountain. 5. The fountain was made from white marble, white ice, arctic ice. 6. The thief was interested in photography, the bank, the buildings. 7. The tourists hurried away towards their bus, the bank, the main street. 8. The thief was suddenly hidden, gone, alone. Think about the answers to these questions. 1. Why was nobody taking any notice of the thief? 2. Why was the thief mingling with the tourists? 3. Why did Philippe not get any closer to the thief? 4. Why do you think Philippe decided to follow the thief? 5. Why did Philippe frown when he saw which building interested the thief? Your views Was Philippe right to follow the thief? Why? If you were Philippe, what would you have done? Was the man in the square definitely the thief in the papers? How do you know? Hampton Castle Pre-reading questions 1. When was Hampton Castle built? 2. Who used to live at the castle? 3. Where did the castle use to stand? 4. Where does it stand now? Why? 5. What did the castle use to be at one time? 6. How many prisoners used to live and work there? 7. What is the castle today? Listen and read. Laura, are you ready? Can you remember your words? Action. Holly, hi there. Ross and I are outside Hampton Castle, the oldest building in our town. Ross, parts of the castle are almost 1,000 years old. Holly, it used to be the home of the Duke of Hampton, one of the wealthiest men in the country. Ross. The castle used to stand outside the town but over the years the town has grown. Holly, so now the castle is in the center of town. Ross, look at the strong stone walls and the small windows with their iron bars. 
Holly, Hampton Castle also used to be a prison. Laura, don't forget to say when. Ross, it was a prison for 300 years, until the middle of the last century. Holly, and as many as 200 prisoners used to live and work in the building. Ross, today Hampton Castle welcomes different kinds of visitors. Holly, part of the castle is a museum and part of it is a hotel. Ross, inside the castle walls there are shops, restaurants and cafes. Holly, years ago, when people walked through the dark prison gates, they used to feel sad, depressed, angry and scared. Ross, yes, the castle used to be a gloomy, frightening place. Holly, but today the atmosphere is very different. People love coming here. It's lively, colorful and lots of fun. Ross, it's one of the most interesting and enjoyable places to visit in our town. Laura, great. You were brilliant. Well done. Important vocabulary. Arctic. Atmosphere. Benches. Brilliant. Broad. Bustling. Cancel. Cart. Cascades. Castle. Chariot. Chatted. Click. Magnificent. Marble. Massive. Mingle. Movement. Museum. Never ending. No longer. Nodded. Noisily. Oily. Particularly. Pigeons. Clicking. Columns. Coo. Cruise. Dart. Depressed. Disguise. Drift. Duke. Dusty. Edge. Elegant. Entrance. Flag. Flow of traffic. Pool. Prison. Pushed. Quarrel. Recognize. Refer. Scent. Seeds. Cellar. Shade. Sliding. Snack. Spelling. Splashed. Spot. See. Fountain. Frightening. Fro zero Ned. Frown. Fume. Gallop. Gape. Glisten. Gloomy. Hidden. Hiss. Hummed. Ice. Iron. Leaping. Spotted. Spurt. Square. Stall. Stead. Startle. Statues. Steps. Strut. Take notice. Thief. Tinkling. Vast. Warrior. Wealthiest.